Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So this video is my performance comparison for CMU version 1.14.0 in comparison to its previous iteration CMU 1.13.2. So what I generally do in these performance comparison videos is I just do a head-to-head -head comparison of exactly what the performance is like between the two different versions. In this video, I am slightly changing up that formula. This is mostly due to the fact that we have seen an optimization in CMU 1.14.0. That means that this new release will no longer degradate your performance when you play your games for a certain amount of time, usually after about 45 minutes. All that I have done is, I have loaded into the Great Plateau, left the game running for about 45 minutes each, and then I have proceeded to do my benchmark runs. It is very, very noticeable the performance drop you get after leaving your game idle for this amount of time, and you can see in the performance numbers both here on the Great Plateau, and you will also see the differences in the next few benchmark areas we are going to be testing. The main point of this video is to show you just how much you are going to want to upgrade to CMU version 1.14.0. When I started this benchmark before I waited the 45 minutes, both CMU 1.13.2 and 1.14.0 were performing absolutely identically. I would also notice throughout some gameplay when I was doing some preliminary performance analysis of both of these versions, after even more time waited in CMU 1.13.2, the performance would get even worse than you are currently seeing right now. Now, while obviously yes, the performance isn't very bad at all, you as the user of this emulator are going to want to use a version that gives you the best possible performance, and at this very point in time, this is CMU version 1.14.0. Okay, so now that I've gone over my testing methodology and told you exactly why I am doing this kind of performance analysis, let's now go over exactly what I am using both graphics packs and setting wise in this video. So for graphics packs, all that I'm using is a 1080p resolution graphics pack, I'm using FPS++, and I am also using the frame rate unlocking graphics pack. This unlocking graphics pack unlocks my frame rate so it can go to 144 frames per second just so I can benchmark this game and see if I've got any performance increases. As well as this, I am also using a triple core recompiler since my CPU is an i7-8700K and I am also using my GTX 980Ti GPU. So here in Zora's Domain, as with practically all of the other areas we have already tested, you can see just how much performance we are dropping when playing the game for over this 45 minute period, and once this VRAM leak has begun to happen. As I've already said, this VRAM leak gets even worse the longer you play this game, I have seen my performance drop from the high 70s way down into the low to mid 40s. Meanwhile, on 1.14.0, my VRAM utilization did not move at all after about the first 3 or 4 minutes of gameplay. This maintained my absolutely awesome performance throughout the many hours that I have been testing this game on this emulator. For anybody who wants to know absolutely everything that has changed in CMU 1.14.0, and believe me, there is an absolute ton of stuff changed in this version, you should check out my changelog video where I discuss and go through absolutely everything you can expect to see in this new version. You can find a link to that video down in the description and if you need any more excuses why you should upgrade to CMU 1.14.0. I'm going to leave you for the rest of this video with some awesome 4K 60fps gameplay footage where we are going to try to navigate ourselves through the Goron region. Just one of the awesome optimizations and fixes added in 1.14.0 can be seen in this area especially. You can see that they have fully fixed all of the glitchy, buggy artifacts that used to appear on the surfaces of both lava and water. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, Dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.